Hi girls guys and non-binary pals it's raining with my first ever YouTube video. Yay. I'm so excited. I know you can't tell through this voice but I promise I'm dancing all around my room right now. So today I will be talking about some of my favorite K-pop fashion. I hope you enjoy. Also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like the content I make. I know some people really hate on these hats but I don't understand why. They fit really well with cute concepts and I think they could even work in a girl crush concept if it's in a darker color. My favorite example of an idol wearing fluffy hats is definitely Nayeon from Twice in Scientist Era. It just added an extra layer of cuteness to an already cute concept, if you count Scientist as a cute song. I really like this type of makeup with the right concept. Like a bad boy type thing or something like that. I saw a video where a YouTuber, specifically Planet Minji talk about this and how a song like Cry For Me by Twice would have suited this kind of makeup. I do want to see more female groups try out this makeup but I could see how it could be problematic and taken out of context. I think that stray kids really suit this makeup because they are very hard hitting and I don't know maybe I'm being biased because they are my alt group. I think a female group that could suit this is Dreamcatcher because they often do horror concepts and brazes or scars fit the horror category for me for some reason haha. <laughs> I personally really like orange hair on male and female idols. I chose this Yeeji fan cam because I think that this was her best hair color. I also think Lino really suits orange hair, like I hope he chooses to go back to it at some point. I also think that Q from The Boys and Shauna from Twice really rocked this hairstyle. I've actually thought about dyeing my hair orange then I realized I'm not a K-pop idol and I don't look good in everything. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Wow she has really bad taste. But I'm not gonna apologize for liking this. Also I couldn't find a fancom of just Wendy in this outfit so if you don't know who she is, she's the one in the green feather top. The only thing I dislike about Wendy's outfit is the fact that the feathers don't go all around the top. I think that this top or even outfit is perfect for the concept that Red Velvet was going for, it gives carnival vibes, as it should. Someone else that pulled this off was Sana from Twice, which isn't surprising she looks good in everything, and Chiri Young in the loco music video. I can see why people didn't like the outfit though, but if you look at the other members their outfits are very wacky and shouldn't go together but for some reason the whole group matches. I don't know if that makes sense but I tried to explain my point of view. I honestly don't know why I like this so much, but it kind of gives Barbie vibes, and I'm here for it. I think it could go with any concept because if you put it in black bam it's girl crush, horror and elegant, put it in plaid and it's schoolgirl. Basically I'm just trying to say, it goes with anything and everything. Now the rest of Yuna's outfit is questionable and looks like a swimsuit with a twist, but this isn't a fashion trends I dislike video, but maybe that could be my next video, comment if you want to see that. On a positive note I really like her hair, I'm a big fan of this wavy hairstyle, like when Che Young from Twice had this kind of style but pink I was over the moon and beyond obsessed with it. I absolutely love and I mean love berets on idols, not on me my head is too big for that. Anyways I think most idols suit berets because they have small faces. Similar to the bow segment I think that berets could fit in any concept like, but berets can also make someone look very soft. For example here we have Irene from Red Velvet and Soon Min from Stray Kids. How do they look? Soft. I rest my case. Crop tops are one of my favorite things to see on male idols. In Yeonjin's case it adds a bit of femininity to the overall vibe. Now male idols being feminine isn't a bad thing, whether it's how they dress or how they act. But seeing him in a crop top like this shows me how comfortable he is in himself. I know that idols don't get to pick what they wear but I can tell that he doesn't feel the need to pull it down or anything like that. Now with Kai this adds sexiness to an already sexy concept. Usually I like crop tops and cuter concepts because there's no need to put them in a crop top but the stylist does anyway, and it just makes the vibe even cuter. And finally pigtails are one of my favorite hairstyles for cute concepts. I know Wajada isn't necessarily a cute concept but Bahiye has cute parts so my point still stands. I really like Jiyo, Chewie, Swan, Lino, and Yunjin in this hairstyle. I chose this Hiye fan cam because she's amazing and talented and people need to stop hating on her because she has a famous brother. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what fashion trends I like in K-pop. I won't be long in the outro because who likes long out Ross? Not me. Anyways make sure to comment some of your favorite fashion trends and subscribe if you would like to see more of me. Bye.